a great Tumblr Bernie, blog. Gus, Gus wants to kiss. I, I Wait, me. Oh. Cheese it. Ah. Bernie, don't cheese it. For everybody. Kisses and or cheese it. No, oh. no, kisses and cheese it is a great kiss. Tumblr blog. No, you oh. don't need it. What do you mean I don't need it? Never mind. Ah. She stole my cheese it. <laughs> if there was a concert where they just threw out Cheez Its, I would go. Welcome to Cheez It Club. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. It's Game Club. Game. Oh, you're I'd, game. Cheez Its. I'd, I'd much rather talk about Cheez Its this <laughs> week. But Cheez Its should make a game like Sneak King, like for Burger King. Cheez Its should make a game. <laughs> uh, game Club. Challenge. We're here. It's Gus. Ashley. Meg. Ryan. Gus. No, damn it. We got to quit doing it in that order. Meg oh. Ryan. <laughs> mm. We're here to talk about Sunset. Are we Sunrise, here to talk about it, or are we here to just like kind of I be think I'm, disappointed at it? I'm here to yeah. sit in a chair and wait for ten minutes as someone else tells me how they're disappointed in it I'm, in a very slow, tedious scrawl of text. So just like the game. Yes. I would like to say uh, I feel really bad for this being my pick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ryan and I good. were talking shit about you already before you came out hey, here. It's not my fault. There were like six really good reviews on it. Who well, the hell wrote a good review uh, for this uh, game? Uh, like, like, here are, hold on, there. here are some of the excerpts from the reviews, okay? It got really good critical um, reception. Yeah. Uh, the Washington Post said, Sunset creates a beautiful and sometimes unnervingly artificial platform for the alienating role play bound up in employer-employee relationships staged against the backdrop of historical revolution that threatens to spoil it. That sounds awesome! Yeah, yeah. the reviews made it sound great. Exactly! I was duped! It's a take that games media! This? A digital spy says it's a unique take on the war-based theme and will evoke your inner voyeur dazzling in its moments of exposition as well as its suggestive junctures it what? won't do what? any of those things let me let me let me what the game Sounds boiled down to for me like what the breaking point for me was so you play i guess we should get background you play a maid who's taking care of an apartment every day you have a series of tasks you need to accomplish. Right, it's not every day. It's once. It's once oh. a week. A week. You every, can, she's you also clean an this engineer. Once a week. Every, Don't forget, she's right. an engineer. She has a degree in engineering. So you have one hour of game time a day to accomplish these tasks, which in real world time equates to about thirty minutes. Um, Assuming they, you don't do the tasks. Yeah. The tasks the accelerate tasks the time. Speed up Correct. the time. So. By the, the way, it takes her seven minutes to hang up an apron. It's ridiculous. It depends. It'd be like yeah. hang and apron. It, <laughs> Whenever you do the tasks, you can either do them warmly or coldly. Some tasks. Yes, some, some tasks. tasks. Yeah. So the, ultimately, the game broke down for me when I spent probably 15 minutes of real world time trying to figure out how to clean some fucking windows. <laughs> was it clear the windows? Was that the task you were looking for? Clear the windows, the view will be better? No, that no, one? no. Oh. Clean windows. Uh, I looked, I, I think I, there's several windows. I think I found the dirty ones. I was like, all right, where are the cleaning products? No cleaning products. Looked everywhere. Maybe these aren't the dirty windows. Maybe they're somewhere else. No, there are no cleaning products. You have to go click on the newspapers that are on the other end of the room and use them to clean the window. I got it totally by accident. I, I really almost yeah. smashed Same. my computer when I realized that's what there it was. There were a lot of things like that. Or, or like there was one that um, I think nobody got this far. But there's a police raid. Did anybody did get to that far? Raid, no. Okay, so there's a police raid. Um, <laughs> Wait, I, we should be clear that like none of us finished. Uh -uh. I was the closest, but I, th I thought I was really close. It turns out I'm half a year away. I'm at December 12th or something. Are you going to finish it? I'm honestly like... Probably not, but I would like to because <laughs> I really like yesterday tried to soldier through. I was like playing between all my work and like really trying to get in there. And I thought I was he's moving out at this point. I don't know how it could get any. I, there may be a time skip. I'm pretty sure I, I saw a video, which there's almost nobody talking about this because I think you mentioned there was only yes, 4,000 copies. As of last month, there were 4,000 copies sold. I should add, this is a $20 yeah. game. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. You feel like we should finish it just because we paid $20 right. for each and copy. I looked on howlongtobeat.com. It's four and a half hours. Oh, when I looked I up at, when I looked like up I on the same committed. site, it's at three and a half. Oh, okay. Somebody else I committed it a pretty good, well, yeah, nobody's I played like it. I I've at least played three hours. Well, okay, here's the thing. So the game really suffers just heavily from Just the one its, thing? Well, I mean, honestly, there's a game. Well, okay, there's an experience there. I don't want to call it a game. People like they that seems to be a running thread with these like artistic kind of things is they don't work hard enough to make it a game. Right. I think actually I think the people who really like gone home mm -hmm. might 
like this that might be it's it's that kind of gameplay so it might appeal to home. it might the appeal to those people no. who aren't gus i would say no 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 no. i would say it's like gone home would appeal to those people if you felt like gone home wasn't slow enough <laughs> yeah. slow gone home down like six times and oh then and then and instead of exploring new areas of the house you just explore the same house over and over again no Bump, bumping into right. furniture trying to figure out like what to do sometimes you get locked out of portions of the house and yes. well yeah. and he, the other big thing is so the story the meat of the actual narrative of the game comes when you find one chair that's hidden in the house every time that's covered with a sheet and you sit down in that chair and then your character will start writing out a journal to themselves to get that narrative one it takes real time so your clock is ticking down on the time you have to do the task that you're supposed to do uh, oops, sorry, I hit the mic. And then you have to sit there until she completes the writing. Well, but you, I there's a thing at the beginning of the game. Mic is. Yay. There's a thing at the beginning <laughs> of the game that says that the diary writing doesn't actually have anything to do with the story. They were like, it's completely supplementary. Like, But that's it. I mean, there's no other. I mean, there's a little bit of environmental stuff. Right. But it's like, well, but there's a meat of the game when you're like deciphering his codes and, and leaving I them out. I enjoyed that. Tell, I really enjoyed yeah, that. It just doesn't happen then, often. Yeah. Then your brother gets captured. He gets arrested. Then uh, this guy disappears. But he, you find out that he's been arguing for your brother's release. So you're like, okay, here we go. Like, he's helping us out. He's, he's there with his ex-wife. There's some drama there. And then they just stop In mentioning that. Incidentally, you never see the guy. No. At, at least as far as yeah. I know. Right. Like, yeah, no. You communicate through notes and mm -hmm. through your actions, whether you perform some of them warmly or right. coolly. Which, that mechanic, real fast before you go. Yep. That mechanic, I was, I was a fan of, like, the option to how to perform the action. I was not a fan of how it was implemented. I felt like you would mouse over stuff and you could either scroll, you know, move your mouse up or down. And mm -hmm. I felt like most of the time, my mouse cursor would leave the object and yeah. I wouldn't hit it. So I had to uh. hard bind keys on my Naga on the side to select warm or cold options because moving my mouse like so subtly didn't work that most didn't, of the time. That didn't like screw up for me. I must have done it a little bit differently because I thought you just use you use Y. You hit Y to do the that warm option and you do N to do the cold option. That yeah. was, I saw I that in the key binding mouse. and it didn't work. Yeah, oh. I, had, I, mm. I, I worked for me only because I rebound them on mm -hmm. my mouse. Yeah, gotcha. I, I only ever did Y. My mouse, but I, I, I thought it was really strange. Like some of the warm options, like arrange the shoes warmly, and then they're in this fucking circle in the middle of the goddamn dressing room. <laughs> Nobody wants shoes in the middle of the dressing room in a big circle. It made me so mad. Then, by the way, when the police raid the place, they kick the shoes all <gasps> over the place. Oh, how dare they? Know. Did the police do it coldly I or bet warmly? They did. <laughs> and the thing that's crazy, as I was saying about like the police raid, is you had to perform the second task on the list before you could perform the first task on the list. So I'm sitting at the pool like, this is, I have to clean this up, and it wouldn't let me until I'd gone and done something else. Also, you move in at one point. You move your clothes into the guest room, but then the guest room is locked off to you for the rest <laughs> of the time? That's because he doesn't want you wearing clothes. Found you get your Yeah, the, the <laughs> whole, like, the, the warmly, coldly thing I thought was interesting. Did anybody, how did you do? Do you cold all the time or warm all the time? I was just trying to mix it up to see well, what oh, I was warm there all was the time. I was warm all the I mean, time. I was like, maybe those... if I can do a romance, things yeah. will get interesting. Exactly. As it turns out, I was just like, dude, why are you leaving me sexy notes? I'm your housekeeper <laughs> who you've never met. You could just, I don't know, be home when I'm cleaning and then we could have a conversation but instead you just leave me weird notes yeah well there are some strange. things you could do in the coolie though that actually in the coolie in the cool in the coolie, the coolie. Cool. The, the cool <laughs> path uh, that would actually reflect what you did for your brother like you could steal uh, one of the things I remember was if you uh, you found the blueprints you could just put them away with the warm option or the cool option was you could take some of them and if you took them the next day when you come back your brother's like Hey, they already told her that, hey, that really helped. We were oh, able to take things. So you can affect the, you the know revolution. What? You actually, when I put them away, I mm -hmm. copied them or something. Uh -huh. Because I did the warm option every single time. And also, I got the same thing from my brother, who was like, that really helped us sneak in and get in undetected. Oh, so it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, fully. I thought I there was finally a part of the game. No, no screw no, it then. I did warm every single time, and I got that exact same interaction. Wow. Lame. Soups okay. lame. Yeah. Oh, the, the good news is that the developers no longer make games. Yeah, we're going to talk or about like the rant. People. My question, they also hate people, yeah. <laughs> Before we get to that is, did anybody else was obsessed with the calendar? I just I changed it every single time. time. Did oh, you get, no. There's an achievement for There's it. a bunch of achievements. Yeah. There's four achievements, or up to four achievements I had no point. time. I was looking for the fucking window cleaner. <laughs> and no time for that goddamn calendar. I, I spent pretty much calendar. every day just, like, bumping into furniture, trying to navigate around, going, what do you the, want? The worst... 
Okay, arrange flowers. Where? The ones on the table? No, I guess not. These ones? No. Oh, the ones over in the corner that are yeah. like, they're flowers already, and then you, by arrange them, you mean put them in the vase and then steal one yeah. warmly. Yeah. The, the worst furniture for I was you. bumped into was like the sunken yes, couch the sunken in the couch. living room. I should be able to walk over. It's like, yes, why do should. I have to walk around? Oh, oh. we needed that one. Also, zooming into books, then there would be books that you'd zoom into and it wouldn't give you an achievement for. And I'd be like, mother, I am zooming into this damn book. Give me my achievement. Yeah, I guess there's supposed oh, to be some sort of narrative, ba like, what is he reading? How do you interpret that? And I'm like, yeah, okay, Brave New World. Good job, dude. Yeah, I don't care. All right, let's talk about the, the Twitter rant. The Twitter rant. Okay, so the developers, as we, we mentioned a Tale little bit Tales. earlier, um, mm -hmm. the game has sold like 4,000 copies. Uh, so Commercial this failure. may be the lowest viewed game club of all time. <laughs> uh, and the, so it. the developers said uh, basically that they were going to leave games, right? They were just going to not make them anymore. But and they then, were happy which about is weird it. to me because I don't they know they were what happy that means. About it. Yeah, they were said they were happy because they were like some people get success and they are unhappy, and they didn't get success and they are happy. Right until we until found they out. Until drinking. Yeah. Ryan told Apparently. us that they uh, went on a little bit yeah. of a Twitter rant. There, there. Somebody got a hold of their Twitter and uh, things got a little weird. Somebody that so. works there. <laughs> somebody uh, with a the password. <laughs> Let's see. So uh, it's, it's at ha, Tale ha, of Tales. Ha. I'm so free. Look at me. I can say fuck games, fuck gamers, fuck the game industry, die, 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 and rot in hell. Oh, and then, but then it's the like, you know, the smiley face that has like the, the little eyes that yeah. are like, mm -hmm. and then, hey. That was June 22nd. Uh, yeah, and then also, this is all, I guess, the same day then. Uh, there's uh, Someone said uh, there's a smart, handsome, witty person in that thread bemoaning the audience was not ready. He was downvoted heavily. The response, the response to that, is, by the way. Is, yeah. D just what? Perfect. Goodbye, gamers. May you die in the same agony that you caused to thousands of defenseless virtual creatures. In defenseless what? is spelled virtual. with a C. Do, virtual. Do virtual <laughs> creatures experience yeah. agony? Are they virtual. programmed for that? Also, there's no virtual creatures in their game. No. That, because they didn't want yeah. them to, like to experience then. agony. The gamers are the ones in agony, not the virtual creatures. And let me say, I experienced agony playing this yeah. damn game. Oh, boy. I was not a fan. No. Uh, yeah, and then they, they were really down on commercialism. Yeah, capitalism. Capitalism, sorry. Oh, they said, I, they, I think like they also said that money was evil, like yeah. how guns are evil. Yeah, was it's, that uh, they had? we don't need commercial failure to know capitalism is evil, right? Because it is evil. And if you think that's cool, then you're evil too. And then someone responded, or rage gun responded however money is not evil in itself since it amounts to time shifting for labor and their response was money is not evil like guns are not evil so they're trying to, i feel like they had a bingo card and a bottle of whiskey and they were like hey, <laughs> let's burn this down let's burn this mother down I which like i guess somebody if you're getting like, out of game fuck it right, right? Yeah, like, like they don't care now this isn't even their first game though they i guess made like four oh, really four games total yeah let me look this up they had a couple this is their most recent one but they've done a couple of games before this. They're a, a Belgian they did, developer. Um, I'm reading over your your shoulder here. Uh, just like who did they? What did they pay people to review this game so well? It's it got well, so good reviews. They duped me so hard. Like there's a nugget of a of a game there that if it had been polished correctly so, would have been really interesting. Like the whole concept of this, you know, learning about someone's life. It's very gone home. Yeah, yeah. you just deliver it properly. The art that was also re done really well, I thought. I liked the style. There was yeah. a neat style to it. There was neat atmospheric things going on. At one point, you know, something crashed through the window. There's I really like riots liked the going apartment. on outside. Yeah. There's yeah. all kinds of there. things happening. Yeah, the I don't pool. know about that. Like, the the whole, like, glass door mm -hmm. to the bathroom, I was a little bit like, maybe, maybe we can frost it. There's they a lavatory, comment on though. it at yeah. one point. The, they I think do. The, the yeah. comment is, this would never fly in in America or yeah. something like that. She right. talks it's a lot. She's a weird character. Yeah. Like, she's she's an an African-American engineering graduate or whatever mm -hmm. who is in this fake country of Anchuria when there's a mil military coup and now she's stuck as a housekeeper. Yeah. Is that, is that, that's about right? And her brother but is somehow has, leading yeah. the revolution. But she has yeah. totally cool hair. But yeah. she's stuck there for some reason. We don't know why she's stuck there. And also, she just beats you over the head with things. Just like concepts that she's like upset about or like the revolution or whatever. I'm like, shut up about it now. <laughs> like, let's clean. Let's get in our zen place. <laughs> what, what are the games that they make? Um, so they've made... Uh, Eight, which I'm not sure what wow. that is. Uh, the Path uh, and Sunset, and then they made. What's the name of the game? Mm, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, wow, eight. Um, no, yeah, it was the name of the game. It's I don't know if it was uh, like a series though. It says it ran from 2002 to 2009. So yeah, who knows? Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think we've probably dedicated more than enough time to Sunset. So we're very sorry for asking you to play this yeah. game. Yeah. Well, at least we experienced it together. 
It's not my fault. Yeah, it got good reviews. We're not blaming you, Meg. I am being blamed. Not to your face. I'm blaming Let's, myself. How about we wipe the slate clean and get a new game that we all like for next week? Let's Yay. get the cylinder selection. Oh, good. There's bunches of balls in there. That means it has yeah, been rigged. I'll, uh, I'll look hey. In there. How dare you? I resent these accusations. They are baseless. <laughs> well, th there was a good Slander. base. Slander. Slander. Solid base. All right. Not looking. You see, I'm doing this fair. Yeah. Spill all of Why? Did you now. guys rig it last week, too? No. No. Oh. I spilled not all of them, though. I mean, not yeah. that we, not that we, you know, it was never rigged. But. It got stuck, and then they all fell out. And there was oh, a you're going to be super happy. Uh -oh. It's uh, the unfinished swan. Yeah! It's one of Meg's choices. Yes, one. okay, I've actually played this one. This one's good. I was actually okay. hoping, I have played this one start <laughs> to I was finish. actually hoping that Journey would come up, because it just came out on PS4. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's it's still in the cylinder, it's in the so cylinder, we'll get to sure. it. We'll so the unfinished it. swan. The unfinished. Is, uh, next I believe it's right, fourteen ninety nine. It's on PS three. I'm not sure if it's on PS four at this point. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna look up some details on it so we can do a quick. Uh, yeah, it's really quick. cool. A lot of people know it for the mechanic of a stark white room that you throw black paintballs against to uncover the environment, but that is a small portion of the game. Uh, the so hmm. this game is available on PS three, PS four, and PS Vita. Sweet. It's an adventure game developed by like Giant this. Sparrow. Um, the game starts with a completely white space in which the player, a boy named Monroe, is chasing after a swan that has escaped a painting. I'm going to play this on the Vita just so I can use my Vita. Yeah, so the <laughs> coolest part of this mechanic is if you overload the world with um, black paintballs, you can't see anything. You need that contrast of white hmm. and black. Very, oh. very cool game. It's a narrative. It's really quick. I think it only takes like two and a half hours, maybe uh, tops. My it's new very favorite, short. My new favorite site, How Long to Beat. I love that yeah. song. <laughs> I think it's like two, maybe three hours at the very, very, very most. Well, uh, looking it up. Looking it up. Um, so the average main story, two and a half hours. If you want to do a completionist run, four hours. That's average. All right. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Hopefully right. we have a lot more fun with this one. <laughs> All right. Go game club. I'm going to redeem myself. <laughs> oh, it's you again.